Before Grand Theft Auto V comes out in September, we thought that it would be fun to go back and replay Grand Theft Auto IV one more time. But this time, we would mod the hell out of it. There's a ton of cool mods out there, and we want to show you the ones we had the most fun with. It's a great excuse to make a list, so without further ado, here's 10 awesome GTA 4 mods. Number 10. First up is a graphics enhancer. Sure, the game looked good, but with the ice enhancer, you'll get upgrades to all of your textures in the game, and it makes GTA 4 look a whole lot better. Skies are bluer. Graffiti is graffitier. Cars are... Carsier, you get what I mean. Install the mod if you're at all interested in making your game look super fancy. So nice. Number nine. Okay, seeing they're both from Star Wars, we decided to put them together on the list, and guess what? Both the speeder bike and Millennium Falcon were created by Emad Tabakoki. The Falcon is a tad bit clunky to get in and control because it uses helicopter commands, but if you ever fantasized about flying around in one, you'll enjoy the oversized spacecraft. And if you're content staying on the ground, the speeder bike from Star Wars is just as fantastic. I don't think Nico will ever need another form of transportation. Unless... Number 8. He could drive the freaking Batmobile! There's a lot of Batmobiles out there on the web, but the Batmobile from the first Tim Burton Batman film looks completely fantastic. Created by Sir Sorosa, this one was a bit hard to find, but there's no arguing with how sweet it looks. Sure, I may never own one in real life, but I can still have a lot of fun driving it around in GTA 4. Number seven. You know what else I would like to own? A gravity gun, and with the trainer by Sajak327, I can. The trainer is an in-game system that can give you a gravity gun and a whole lot more. It allows the player to be invincible, have infinite ammo, and do more than I can go over in just a few minutes, but it basically allows you to wreak havoc all day long. Add the FPS mod by CO6 Alt to the mix, and you'll be able to enjoy the destruction from a first-person point of view. Bye-bye, Mr. Car. Whee! Number six. It's an elephant. You can play as an elephant. You can drive, get in the fights, and more as an elephant. I don't need to say much more. Number five. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Heroes in a half shell. Turtle. Wait a minute. I don't remember them having guns. Regardless, the mere fact that you can play as Leo, Raph, Mikey, and Don is like a childhood dream. Not since the arcade game have I enjoyed a Ninja Turtle game so much, and the quality of the models that you can choose is also pretty darn fantastic. I only wish I could find some nunchucks in the game. Number four. Why is a horse our number four pick? Well, because he's a horse, of course. Pausing for laughter. And now you all hate me even more. Still, this model by Indira Vakua was one of the first, and it paved the way for that elephant we saw before. Now it's just a question of which animal you prefer. Oh god, I do not want to read the YouTube comments after saying that. Number 3. There are a lot of Superman mods out there, but this was my favorite. Created by H1VITG3, which probably says something, I don't know. Anyway, created by him, the model looks a lot more like the cartoon Superman, but if that's not your thing, there's also another Superman model from Injustice that you can play as. It's all about your preference. Add the flight mod by user Nicholas1, I can say his name, and you can even fly around the city like a superhero. A superhero that beats people up in the streets. Number two. Speaking of being superheroes, if you like Iron Man, then you could also play through as a number of different characters, including the newest Iron Man from the movies, who looks great and all. But another Iron Man mod adds multiple Iron Man armors, Iron Man weapons, the ability to fly, the ability to have War Machine guarding you, and the ability to create shield APCs and flying enemies to fight. It also changed the heads-up display to look a little bit more like an Iron Man HUD would. And if you don't like any of that, you can turn it all off and just play as Nico. I'm not sure who would do that. Anyway, how do you top that? Well, with our number one. You may be thinking, okay, it's a DeLorean, and that's amazing. But how is it better than a Batmobile or a gravity gun? Well, because when it reaches 88 miles per hour, it travels back in time. 
Granted, you need to install multiple mods to make this work properly, but the fact that someone did all of this in GTA 4 is mind-boggling. Not only that, but you can change the time you travel to, and the person who made the DeLorean put a painstaking amount of effort into modeling the interior. That is awesome! Now let's go back to the future. Bonus mention the Portal 2 character's Atlas and Peabody. Sorry I had to mention them. Anyway, that's 10 awesome mods for GTA 4. Some are funny, some are amazing, and this is only the tip of the iceberg. There's a ton more out there that you can try out with a little time and effort. I hope we were able to show off some of the cooler mods for you today, but if we forgot something, let us know about them in the comments. And for more on all that's Grand Theft Auto, be sure to keep it locked right here on IGN.